Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 19 of Book 5. Now in this proposition, we have two ratios. We have the ratio AB to CD, and we have the ratio AE to CF. And these two ratios are equal. And this proposition states that if those two ratios are equal, then EB to FD will be of the same ratio. So in other words, all three ratios will be the same. So if AB to CD is equal to AE to CF, it is also equal to EB, EB to FD. So let's look at our proof. Again, our initial conditions are that AB to CD is equal to AE to CF. Since these four magnitudes are proportional, then their alternative ratios are also proportional, according to Proposition 16. And if you recall, the alternative ratio is we swap the two magnitudes. So we swap CD and AE. So this ratio here is also true, or this relationship between these two ratios are also true. Now, AB to AE equals CD to CF is a componendo ratio. AB to AE, CD to CF. That's the definition of a componendo ratio. And if they are equal, they were also equal separando. So we take AB minus AE compared to AE will be equal to CD minus CF compared to CF. This comes from Proposition 17. Now what's AB minus AE? AB minus AE is simply EB. And si similarly, CD minus CF is equal to FD. So we are left with this relationship, that the ratio EB to AE is equal to FD to CF. And because these four magnitudes are proportional, so will be the alternative ratio, proposition 16 again. So what we are doing again is we are swapping AE with FD. And now these two ratios are equal. So EB to FD is equal to AE to CF. So EB to FD equals AE to CF. Put AE to C well, this ratio here is the same as this ratio here. These two are equal to AB to CD and EB to FD, respectively. So in other words, cancelling out AE to CF, we end up that EB to FD is equal to this, which is equal to this, which is equal to this. So therefore, EB to FD is equal to AB to CD. And that is the proposition. Now this particular proposition also has a porism, which means that somewhere in this proof that we've demonstrated for Proposition 19 is another truth that wasn't explicitly stated. And this truth is that if magnitudes are proportional componendo, so that's this relationship right here, AB to AE equals CD to CF, that's uh, componendo proportions, then they will also be proportional convertendo, which is this relationship shown right here. And to demonstrate that, we have, I'm going to rewrite AB to CD equals EB to FD. So this line here is just a rewriting of this equation here. Well, let's do the um, alternative ratios again, so we swap CD with EB. So now we're left with AB to EB is equal to CD to FD. But what is EB? EB is AB minus AE. C FD is equal to CD minus CF. So if we look at these two relationships here, just let me highlight them for a moment, this one and this one. 
Here is our componendo ratio, and here we have the convertendo ratio. So, so if AB to AE is equal to CD to CF, then AB to AB minus AE would be equal to CD compared to CD minus CF, because these two relationships all follow from these proofs. So that is the additional porism of this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.